Well, after that minor nightmare of trying to get back onto the radio servers, I just say hello. I'm Inquisitor Ara, and this is Tainu. Yes, this is not Tai Mei, this is Tainu. As I could not get back onto the leveling server, I created a level 100 elemental and restoration shaman here on the level 100 server so we can take a look at some of their shiny new talents. So we're going to get rid of this helmet because really awesome. There we go. As of right now, of course, Tainu is elemental. And I will be talking primarily about restoration talents and abilities. Now, I have gone through and I have completely built my garrison. There's a dude down here on the... There's a guy. There's a guy. Garrison 4. There he is. My garrison supplier. And he literally just let me build it all because I'm level 100 and I should have all the nice things, right? So here we go. We're going to the level 100 server. We're on the level 100 server, and we're going to the fully maxed out garrison. Alliance garrison. Close, close my gate. Oh, not with me in it. That'd be cool. Look at that. My gate is closed. I don't know how I'm going to get out of here with my gate closed, but my gate is closed. Oh, look at that. Opens right up. How nice of them. Now this is what a fully fleshed out garrison is going to look at light. So as you can see here, it's pretty. It's got everything you possibly want and or need. We're going to run around. We're going to pick up a bunch of the quests here. And apparently I have a pet ogren and that is cool. And he's going to stomp on me and that is not cool. We must I am still... Ridiculously jealous of her horns, but she's still carrying her one-handed weapons through her shoulder. <sighs> Please be careful. I will go with you, hero. A warm yeah. welcome awaits Recognize that guy? Village. I'm sure it does. Let's come over here. I'll just pick up a few quests. Like I said, I'm terribly sorry about the, the wait, but the other server was being kind of a dick. So, now you know. Need help? Be careful. Just gonna pick some of these up. Go with honor, friend. Hey there. Safe travels. That's cool, Pexus Guardian. Okay, so where was I when I left off? Oh yes, I had just finished talking about the restoration. Tier 17 pieces. What's up, Kagar? How you doing? What's up, Goldman Skinner? How you doing? I want to play one of these. Look at that. Me mug it. Mug it. Awesome. These are all your followers you got hanging out here. Did you salute me? Oh, once he stuck. Oh, I thought he was going to stuck. stuck there for a minute. He's the beta instance guy. So when I get a chance later on, I will be running some beta instances. But first, I need to get me some beta... I need to get me some beta add-ons, because doing this without add-ons is going gonna, is gonna to kill me. So, as I was saying before, um, we tested the conductivity. We did find out, indeed, that the healing rains increased duration will transfer if you cast it somewhere else. Hello, my friend. Who remembers this guy? Why, Ariel? Uh, uh. Tresser. It's the uh, half orc, half Draenei that uh, you found in Nagrand. And you got that badass pole arm off. And what well, was, you know, it was badass at the time. Actually, kind of resembled that. Not quite that, but kind of. Pretty cool, not gonna lie. Ken Loggin. Kenny Loggins, folks. Kenny Loggins in the game. <sighs> I don't know. I'm gonna put some shiny stuff here. Oh, there, it's all locked. Eh. Any who's a who's a. 
uh, stats. We're talking about stats. We did the uh, the multi strike. That's what we're talking about. Multi strike. Okay, so multi strike. You know, honestly, with as strong as an AOE healer as the Restoration Shaman is going to be, I can't see multi strike really being worth it. I mean, for elemental, that is, it's basically elemental overload. Which was a talent before. I mean, that was one of these. Oh, that was our mastery before. That was a previous mastery. Now our, our current mastery is the one that throws rocks up on the ground. It's called Molten Fury. But multi-strike, I don't really see being particularly worth anything to Restoration Shaman because their AoE heals are already going to be really strong and it's not going to change all that much honestly um spell usage however is going to be a little bit simpler I'm going to actually pop off this and swap to restoration <laughs> I don't think I actually set my bars up for restoration. I sure didn't, but that's okay. Let's get rid of all this crabble. Need any of that? Keep that there. The healing ring, the healing stream. Got the healing tide. Goes down here at the cooldowns. Got the healing wave. Riptide. Got Spirit Link. I'll actually, move that up here. The Unleash Life. Spirit Walker's Grace. Water Shield already. Hi to Ida. Yes, I get to play with these. Yes. Okay, so this is this is new actually. Resurgence, uh, direct heal, critical to refund you mana. Amazing, uh, about 1,300 mana from healing wave, about 800 from healing surge, riptide or unleash life, 450 from chain heal. So, if you want mana back, you want to stack a lot of crit if you want this to really work. So you get that crit. We select ourselves, turn around, and you cast Healing Wave. Once you get, and when you get a critical, actually waiting to see if you get a critical. There we go. Oh yeah, look, and you some mana jump back up. What is my crit chance at? Is it bad? It must be bad. So, yeah, you can see that critical strike is going to be pretty darn important still for the Restoration Shaman. Now we're going to go ahead, we're going to take a look at some of our perks. Now, I was just looking at some of our perks over here. We have four perks for as a Restoration Shaman. We have Enhanced Unleash, right here. Unleash Life also gives you 30% increased movement speed for sort of 4 seconds. Uh, it's good, but, I mean, generally, for the, the, the most part, you're going to be using Ghost Wolf form. Yeah, which I actually need to put that on the bar. Ghost Wolf. You're going to be using this. I mean... Chain heal on here. What am I doing? What is wrong with me? Chain heal. This over here, too, because you actually may use that a lot, so... Move. And you got myself select, so we'll go... Eh. Doesn't... Doesn't appear to stack with the... The Ghost Wolf's... Speed buff, but... 
uh, yeah, like I said, eh, you know, it's good in a pinch. You know, you need somebody to get out of the way, you go ahead and you toss a reptile on them. That, that'll that work. I, I suppose. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to our improved, all of our improved. We've got our improved chain heal. It increases the chain healing on the primary target of your chain heal spell by 50%. Now, remember, I have pretty much built Tainu up here at this point to be a chain healing master. Because I have the improved chain heal. Okay, I have the conductivity. I have the high tide. Which will bounce up to two additional targets affected by Riptide. Riptide, of course, I have Glyft. Well, I would have Glyft. <laughs> but I don't have it Glyft right now. <laughs> I'm stupid. It's okay. Uh, yeah, I prefer Healing Wave. And we go Riptide. And, of course, now I'm Glyft. Now I'm Glyft for Riptide, which removes the cooldown of Riptide, but reduces the initial direct healing by 75%. So... The idea is is that before you chain heal, which is before you healing rain by by the way, um, or after, before you chain heal, you're gonna want to have Riptide on at least three people. Okay, probably one of the tanks, and whoever else might happen to need it with these particular talents because. Put it on the three tank. You put it on three people. One tank, two other random people, or three members of the raid. It depends on your raid comp. I deal with a lot of ranged right now, so I'll probably have it on three ranged. And I usually try to keep a stack of it on myself just in case, so that I can always bounce a chain heal off of me. That just seems to be a fairly good practice. And you have the high tide, and it'll also bounce off those targets. So. That's just a little extra healing there. And then, so you put your, your Riptide down, throw down your he healing rain. Then that's when you start pounding out the the chain heals and healing waves so that you can get that healing rain up as much as humanly possible. Of course, you're always going to want to have your healing stream totem down. 30 second cooldown, last 15 seconds. Pretty standard stuff. Going to heal for a little less. Not going to be as smart. But that's okay, because it's still going to heal for quite a bit. Your big cooldown, inevitably, is going to still be Ascendance plus Healing Tide Totem. Because Healing Tide Totem is going to heal everybody for a cert for 5,000-ish within 40 yards. Instead of a few people who have the least amount of health. It's going to heal everybody. So it's going to do a little less healing, but it's going to heal more people. And Ascension, of course, is going to... Uh, duplicate and distribute all of your healing among nearby allies. Now, if you really want to overpower your heals, your your major big cooldown heals, you're just going to toss Spirit Link on top of that, which is going to reallocate the health of the people within 10 yards of that. Oh, actually, they changed this. It reduces the damage. Oh, yeah, it reduces the damage by 10% and redistributes the health of all affected players. And it only lasts six seconds. So they're all the same percentage. So, yeah, same basic principles. That's going to be your big thing right there. So you got your improved chain heal. Um, you have improved reincarnation, which actually I didn't believe is up here. No, it's not up here. You're going to have improved... Oh, it is right there. Improved reincarnation uh, increases the health that you reincarnate with, with by an additional 50%. Great. I mean, always coming, but coming back with more health, your own self-res is always, you know, a good thing. Unfortunately, it doesn't do anything for your mana, so boo, you're going to have to drop your mana tide more likely than not. But don't forget, put your water shield back up, drop your mana tide totem, be good to go. And the last one is improved riptide. This reduces the cooldown of riptide by one second. This is if you're not using the glyph, okay? If you're using the glyph, obviously you don't have a cooldown. If you're use, not using the glyph, this will reduce the cooldown to 5 seconds from 6 seconds. Honestly, still think it's just worth it to have, have the glyph. I mean, think about it healing-wise. It's a 6 second cooldown. Alright. 
it's better to have, yeah, and it reduces the initial direct healing by 75%. Okay, it's better to have more than one of those out so you can bounce a chain heal through them and do extra healing with that on top of standing in your healing rain and getting hit with your healing stream totem. It's better to have these layered over people in the raid who are going to take damage than it is to have the six second cooldown and have the bigger instant heal. Just doesn't, I mean, it's a great instant heal. I mean, it is an instant cast, but it just doesn't really make any sense to 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 not glyph for this. And I mean, especially since that's not the right one. Haha. <laughs> glyph of chaining has removed the two second force cooldown on chain heal. So you don't have to wait. You can do instead of doing like I do right now, which is chain heal, put a riptide on somebody else, then chain heal again so that I have something to do, and so that I've already, always got heals going out, you can just keep chain healing. Now, obviously, you're not going to want to do that because it's going to get kind of expensive, so you're going to, and then you're going to bounce back down to your healing wave. You want to have that high crit. You want to get that mana back so you can put out more healing waves, so you can put out more chain heals, so you can put out more healing rains. You see how this is all tying together. This is all a uh, uh, restoration shaman's ability so far right now, including the gear that we're going to be getting, is all so synergetic. It all just works together, and it's going to make us dominant healers. And people are going to want to have a restoration shaman with them because they're just going to be able to put out such great healing numbers. Now, they said Blizzard has said not as much burst damage, not as much oh shit heal the tanks up damage, not as much hurry running around and having to keep mobile because every spellcaster is not going to be able to cast on the move. Okay, we're one of the lucky few with Spirit Walker's Grace. Us and Elemental Shaman are, are still going to maintain this and it lasts 15 seconds but still on two minute cooldowns. Every two minutes for 15 seconds you can cast while you're on the move. Not really a huge issue for Elemental. I mean, it wasn't really in live. Maybe it's going to be a little bit more now that we can't cast a Lightning Bolt on the move anymore. But you should be using your Echo of the Elements anyways to get your Lava Birds procs and, you know, such, so on and so forth. But we're not here to, to talk about Elemental. We're here to talk about Restoration. So let's continue to talk about Restoration. But you see, you're seeing how all of this is is working together, you know. Having the group heals, keeping the group between sixty and eighty percent health, is it's almost imperative that you do that so you can maximize your heals. All right, you want to keep that mastery. You wanna you want to keep it going. You want to have the high crit so you can get the mana regen. You want to have the good haste so you can get those extra ticks of Riptide off so that you can get the faster cast times. Because unlike other healing classes, Restoration Shaman have always had spells that have had cast times. Always. That's just... It's, uh... Let's stick to the ground. We're going to go to the Spies of Wreck. But that's, that's, that's the way it is. You know, that's how it's going to be. You know, everything we have is going to work so well together. You know, we're going to have the great AoE heals. We're going to have good single target heals with our mastery and with our crit and our haze and everything playing off of each other, giving us the ability to really shine in this expansion. I mean, I know Element or Restoration Shaman are, are kind of power like really powerful in, in live servers right now but we're gonna we're gonna really really be fantastic in in warlords of draenor and i'm really looking forward to seeing how this is all gonna play out by the way any of you guys who are playing discipline priests Y'all busted. You guys are straight busted. I hope you enjoy all those nerfs. I hope you enjoy those absorbed nerfs. I hope you enjoy having Divine Star on a 1.5 second cast and Halo and Cascade, which admittedly, you know, kind of, kind of stinks. But I hope you enjoy that. I hope you like this this right here, this expansion, this is going to be the expansion of the Resto Shaman or the Resto Druid. I'm okay with either because I play both. So, thank you. You guys...
you can go go back to being holy. Hope you enjoy it. So I've talked about all of the restoration shamany stuff that I think, you know, with our smart heels not being so smart anymore, comp- compensating by being intelligent with your riptides and your chain heels, knowing, you know, what spells to cast when, you know, those basic healer instincts that everybody who's played a healer for any extended amount of time can appreciate. And all of the synergy that we're going to be having between our gear and our stats and Tesca the Broken, I'm going to go kill me another rare elite. It's going to be a great expansion for us, and I hope to see more and more Restoration Shaman uh, hit and field, being badasses. I am not elemental right now, so I should probably not attack that guy. <laughs> Anyways, all right, we're done with the Restoration Shaman talk. Now we're gonna, and now it's time to just, now it's time to kill people. Let's uh, let's actually take a look at some of these elemental abilities, shall we? probably put Ghost Wolf back on my bar so that I can actually get off. Because whatever, why would I ever need to do that? There we go. Do that. Got my Lava Burst and I got my Totem. Get my Fire Elemental down here. Get my Healing String down here. Gotta get my Heroism down here. They should still, they should just call this Bloodlust. Everybody wants, everybody calls it Bloodlust anyways. Put my healing surge on my bar because I'm probably gonna end up needing that at some point. Knowing me, I'm I'm pretty dangerous when I play. <laughs> healing stream. I don't think we have healing tide anymore, which is fine. Shamanistic rage. Oh yeah. Defensive cooldowns. Next damage dealt by the Shaman's next fire spell before he says, oh, instant cast. Oh, is this still not worth the global cooldown? You know what? We'll play with it. We will play with it, and we will see. I make no promises that I will keep it, though. I do not like it. Thunderstorm. Gotta have it. Dumb Bulwark Totem. Defensive cooldowns. Gotta have it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sure, setting up my bars is probably the most interesting thing you've seen all day, but <laughs> you can live with it for a little bit. Okay, so for I'm actually going to show you what talents I chose actually after I do this. Eh. I'm trying to remember what I'm actually trying to remember. Yes, this one. What glyphs I had. Yep. Yep. See what glyphs I had, but just for Rocker's Grace increases duration. No, I don't think it's worth wait, wasting a major glyph on. I don't know. Earthquake. I'm not even gonna contemplate putting that on my bar. Mm-mm, not worth it. Really? Thought we had some good chain lightning. Oh, nope, chain lightning's got I have it. <laughs> we'll go with that one, because reasons. Chain lightninging, I don't know, because chain lightning is awesome. I shouldn't stand in that. Level 97, he's a bit harder to kill, huh? Drop, drop it like a tie, drop it like a tie. You get on off of me. Oh, really? I knocked him out of line on sight. Oh, <laughs> whoops! <laughs> I think I broke him. 
I think I broke him, boss. I think I broke him. What is this? Get rid of it. His reasons to get attack that dude. That is freaking hilarious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Can get me, bro. Oh, <laughs> he disappeared. That's awesome. Wah. Oh, he reappeared. All right. All right. We're gonna do this. We're doing this shit live. Hey, oh, get him. Taken from me once, you will not take them from me again. Mm. I'm not trying to take your wings from me. I, you know what I won't be doing? I won't be thunderstorming him this time. That's what I won't be doing. Do, do, do. See, this is why I love playing classes that can heal themselves. Because, frankly, I get myself into a lot of trouble. If I don't heal myself, I will kick my own ass. Stop putting that shit on me. I'm not going to stand in it. It doesn't make a difference how many times you want me to. Aww. Mm. That right there would be good for uh, Resto if it had any spirit on it. At least that would be great for Resto. I can't carry any more though. That's, I completely built my garrison. Ha! Huh. So this is where we're at. We're the spires of Iraq. We're talking elemental now that we have finished talking uh, restoration. And honestly, I'm still seeing. Mastery is probably our go-to spec. Whoa. Look at that. Bonus objectives. Blood Mane, Saberons, Free Catcher, Raven Speakers, Broken Fang, Ralshara, and Shadow Claw. That is a badass looking cat, too. It's got the Mr. Pandaria model, but it's a recolor. It's got the orange stripes, the black fur. <laughs> Digging it. Digging it. I have no idea where I'm going. You know what? Let's do this. Oh. You're going to pull. Yeah, you are. You're going to pull some of that timeless isle shit on me, huh? Yeah, well, you know what? You can eat some fucking earth stalactites. Biatch. We're not going to go that way. We're just going to hop on our swift blue griffin because for some reason that's what I chose to have on my bar. And we're going to go follow the road. I don't know where it's going to lead me, but I don't think I care. Raja's Den. Oh, look at that. Adherent Soul Shaper. Oh, I don't care, tigers. Not fighting you. I'll fight you. This way. Yeah, here we go. Guess a view of one of those big ass birds up there. Oh, you know what? Garrison report. We have available missions. We're going to go ahead and put somebody on a mission. I think I actually have to be there? Mill House, Man of Storm. Oh, that's cool. Look at this guy. Come on. Really? <laughs> Yeah, I remember that guy. That Peagle. Eagle. You know, they fixed the models for the people, but they did not fix the models for the gnolls. <laughs> I guess that's okay. <laughs> there you go, fans. Crowman. The Adventurer. <laughs> oh, Thistily. Cool. Oh, the Orja. That's 
pretty awesome. I'm not gonna... L Any of you people who are going to BlizzCon that are, are, are friends of mine on Facebook, somebody needs to seriously consider doing this, dude. Because I might be going over there and talking to him right now, because I know where his den is, because I just ran past it. Let's go get us a follower. Screw it. Do 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 kill us a bunch of tigers on the way and it's gonna be awesome. Running around places I probably shouldn't. Honestly, you know this place looks amazing. I am super, super happy with how all these things look. Yep. Mm. Not sure that that's worth global cooldown yet. Well, I'm running my happy panda butt up here. I'll take a look at my talents real quick. So with my talents. I I've, I've I don't I haven't really changed anything from what I had on live. Wow, this is some impressive work right here. Uh, I still have my stone bulwark. Once again, you can use that or add the astral shift. That's entirely up to you. All these tier second tier talents, these are entirely up to you. This one I like. But it doesn't really make a difference because I can't use it for fire totems. And that's pretty much, you know, fire totems is what we do as elemental. So, of course, uh, Enhancement Shaman got the Magma Totem, which is fine because, you know, we didn't really use it anyways. Echo of the Elements, honestly. It doesn't incur its next cooldown. How is that not going to be awesome? For these, if you're not healing, okay, you leave this, leave this to the rest of Shaman, okay? You leave this to the rest of Shaman. This is, I mean, honestly, these are all healing talents. This isn't going to do you any good in solo play, and your, your healing stream totem is not that good. Conductivity, your healing rain is not that good. So, Ancestral Guidance. You could do a massive amount of damage, and granted, it's only 20% of that is turned into healing, but it may save somebody's life. I don't know. Up to you. For this, for Elemental, it's usually either Primal Elementalist or Elemental Blast. This until you get to a certain amount of mastery, at least on live, and then you switch to this. I like this. I like this. I don't like this. It might be worth it now. I may choose to play with it later, but for now, not probably not going to happen. Probably going to get used to this. Okay, now the level 100 talents I haven't actually talked about. I'm going with Elemental Fusion, because as I've said before, I tend to go with passives whenever possible, whenever most feasible, and this fit that bill, and this was just, you know, figured I'd try this one out first. Lava Burst and Lava Lash. Lava Lash, of course, for you Enhancement Shaman. Uh, increase the damage of your next shock by 50%, stacking up to two times. Doesn't sound that great, right? It's Flame Shock. I'm not going to have Flame Shock. I'm not going to be putting Flame Shock up unless Flame Shock is about to run out. So, hmm, probably not going to be the one I stick with in the long run. Storm Elemental Totem. I actually... You know what, I'm actually going to switch to this, because I kind of want to see what this dude looks like. And we're going to go ahead, and we're just going to blow a five-minute cooldown. Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll blow a five-minute cooldown when we get in there. Uh, summons the Air Totem, uh, calling forth a greater storm elemental to her gusts of wind. It casters enemies. Each gust does damage to the enemy, then heals all allies within 15 yards for 100% of the damage. Split evenly, last minute. So it's basically, you got your Earth guy, you got your Fire guy, now you got Storm guy. Why not? And this last one is Liquid Magma. Powers your current Fire Totem and causes magma to erupt from it towards random enemies. Then 40 yards, every half second for 10 seconds. Each deals a little about under 
1200 fire damage to all enemies within four yards again it's within four yards you're not really ever going to be four yards away from anything you're going to be much much farther away from from most things I mean, maybe in this instance it would be okay because I'm right next to him, and maybe for soloing it would be okay, but I'm thinking at this from a raider's perspective, and it doesn't really work. Uh, pvp -er might be better for you, but honestly, it's probably going to be this one. I mean, it's, yeah, it's another five-minute cooldown. Yeah, it's not a passive, but it, it's probably going to do the most for the Elemental Shaman. So why don't we go ahead in here and... Well, I found... Is this thing in here? Found... Okay, I found the dude's house, but... I, that, uh... That is a butt. <laughs> that is a butt of something. I don't know the butt of, of what. It looks like it has a tail. But the dude is not here. And there are piles of poop <laughs> all over the place. All right, well, we're going to come out here. And we're actually going to head back to the garrison. That takes me to Shadowman Valley. That's fine. Yeah, click the bag, click the bag, click the bag, click the bag. We'll just go back to Shadowman Valley. And we're going to pop out the storm totem and we'll see what he looks like and then I will let you all go Ooh. Ooh. Off. why are there people dancing over here you know what I don't want to garrison is this way As you can see, we get a whole bag full, bag full of that woman with the horns. I want them back to the garrison. This is my garrison. There are many like it, but this one is mine. How bad is it that I literally have no idea how to get back to my own garrison? <laughs> Used to have a garrison stone, but I guess they were having trouble with it before. And it would occasionally glitch out and uh, eat a charge from your normal hearthstone. So, eh. Whatever, we're just going to do it here. Doing this shit live. Let's see what you look like, my friend. Oh, come on, Blizz. You can do better than that. You can do better than that. Talk about... Yeah, they've upgraded the characters, but they still have a lot of work they need to do. Anyways, that is it. I hope you had fun enjoying. hope you had fun watching or listening or doing whatever it is that you have been doing this fine, fine evening. Fuck those gold frogs. Uh, we will be back on Sunday. We will be doing some more beta streaming. Probably we will be back on the level 90 leveling server so that I can show you some quests in that area and potentially be talking about druidy things. Have a great day.